Hello and welcome to NF Attractions where today I'm here at the Alton Towers Resort. So today it's currently a weekday, it's Friday so it'll be interesting to see how busy the queues are. By the looks of the en entrance plaza just uh, there seems to be a lot of school trips uh, today so it'll be interesting to see how busy that gets and how quickly it takes to cry down. Normally it's around 3 o'clock time the, the park starts to cry down as they go back. So the park hours are 10 till 5 today. So uh, I'll take you around the park, show you what rides we managed to get on. Scientific testing is in progress at this site. So just in the queue now for the curse at Alton Manor. Was going to have a first ride on Galactica this morning, however that's still yet to open, having technical issues. So it started off today with a ride on Funk and Fly, the PWS Super Trooper. Nemesis Subter was also broke down by the looks of it as well. That seems to have had issues uh, for the most part of this season really since it opened on the 27th of May. Reliability that ride doesn't seem to be the best at the moment. Yeah, going on curse. Hopefully, it's better than the last run through I had on Saturday. I was in on for the last ride of the day, and most of the effects were uh, being turned off, which was a shame. So, hopefully, this run through is better. But I do really enjoy curse, it's a great attraction. Nice that they didn't go for an IP like what was rumoured with uh, Ghostbusters being believed to come in. I'm glad they did go for the theme of Emily Alton sticking to the original uh, theme of the Haunted House back from 1992. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Alton held a party to celebrate the turning of a new year. However, on the final chime of midnight, the manor appeared to be struck by a storm of supernatural proportions. All known occupants of the house perished. That is, aside from the owner's only child, Emily.
to rock the pow pow wall. Extreme ha 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 machine. So just taking a walk down the gardens to get back up to Fibbina Valley now Galactic has opened and uh, just taking a walk down the pagoda path just down at the bottom of the gardens. It's great to see that they've now got the pagoda fountain back on. First time I've seen it on this season obviously with how nice the river's been water level's been quite low and all this is gravity fed from a nearby reservoir so they've not had it on so it's nice to see they've actually got it back up and uh, running again. The gardens are lovely to, to just uh, explore, nice to get away from all the thrill rides and all the loud noises, just nice peaceful walk down the gardens. So I just had another ride on Curse Alton Manor, a bit more of an interesting ride that time. Uh, ended up breaking down just at the travel section of the ride, uh, just where all the heaters are before you go in. Stuck there for around five minutes, then we were slowly moving crawling through the trommel tunnel itself. A lot of the effects weren't working after that, everything was out of time. So I don't know what's the issue with that, uh, but I've had a lot better rides it this morning on that compared to that one just. But now heading on to Spinball Rizza, advertised a 30 minute queue. The queue times today have been awful. Uh, during the queue for Curse I looked on uh, the app and uh, Smiler was 120 minutes and Mickey Man was 105 minutes. It's very much school trip season now by the looks of it. It's very busy on park uh, for saying that it is a Friday. So I decided not to do the uh, spin ball as when we got to the entrance it turned to 70 minutes instead of 30 minutes. Uh, so you may have just noticed in that clip her uh, smiler was advertised at 120 minutes. So now we're going to go in the single rider queue. Can't guarantee having a ride on it, it depends how busy it is, but it's always worth checking the single rider queue I think. It tends to be a lot faster than the main queue. Just a quick note, uh, Trista Twombo has been shut since the storm, uh, is currently just testing so that's uh, positive signs for Trista Twombo to be opening soon hopefully. Yeah, single rider. So I've just had a ride on the Smiler, the Parks Gushlar Infinity Coaster. Uh, main queue was advertised 120 minutes, however in single rider only queued for 12 minutes. So it's definitely worth a single rider. The single rider queue was moving quite fast throughout so it's quite good. Uh, uh, ended up being row 12, uh, row 12, uh, back row on the left. So they got four rows, what am I saying? But, uh, it wasn't rough, but the ride felt very bouncy. I don't know why it's that the case. It wasn't the case last time I went on it, but uh, still a really enjoyable ride. Uh, I didn't mind it as much as uh, my last ride I had on it early in season when it wasn't running the best. But gonna get some food now. I don't know what I'll do after. Maybe another ride on Smiler, I'll see. So I just had another ride on Cursa Alton Manor. Again, wrote down multiple times that time. Uh, I do like Curse, however it does seem today it's got a lot of uh, technical issues, it keeps going down. Uh, but I do still enjoy it, it's a lot better than what Jewel was. So I'm heading over back to Smiler now, hopefully single rider is just as good as last time. If not better it'd be nice, but 
started to rain now so hopefully the park crashes down a bit but I'm hoping it it's just gone uh, three o'clock so I'm hoping school trips are started to leave now so the park just cried since down and be able to get on a lot of rides because for the most part most rides have been 60 70 to 100 minutes it's been massive queues all day today so hopefully some other single rider queue yet again pays as a free version of a fast pass but we'll see still on though from earlier but I can't see a Tesla at the moment so I don't know how long it's going to be until Tristan probably opens. in the queue for the Chris Alton Manor. I did have a second ride on the Smiler. Went a lot better than the first ride I had on it. It wasn't as bouncy. Also it wasn't rough either. So hopefully the Smiler continues to be a better ride this season. Last year I, I didn't think much of it. It was quite a rough ride I thought. But yeah back onto the Chris Alton Manor now because all the queues are still massive. It's 11 minutes past four now, I thought the queues might die down at this point, but unfortunately not, so I may as well call this a Curse of Ultra Manor vlog, as this will be my fourth ride on the ride today. Two of which have broke down, in. so hopefully this has a smooth run through and doesn't break down again, but it's a great ride, I do like Curse. It's a lot better than what it used to be with Jewel. I never did the haunted house, but, uh, so I can't compare it to that. But I do really enjoy it. So I'll see you when I come off. Chris Alton Man will probably have a, another ride before the end of the day. By luck, survive it's going today anyway. So. of December 1891. Mr. and Mrs. Orton held a party. So just in the queue now for Curse Old Manor yet again. This will be ride number nine now for today. We're just gonna do this till the end of the day I think now because all the rides are still large queues so just gonna ride Curse how many more rides we can get on it. Seems to be more con. So I'm just in the queue for my last ride of the day on Curse at Alton Manor. This will be my 12th ride of the day on Curse and it will be my 22nd time altogether since it opened. I do like Curse, if you could probably guess. Uh, not had a few issues for, a little, for the last few rides which is better. I uh, had a couple issues early on in the day but seems to be running better now so I'll see you when I come off. I think I'm getting deja vu at this point. 
that's the end of my video from Alton Towers Resort. I was going to film an outro when actually on park, however at the end of the day the weather took a turn for the worst, which is why you're seeing random photos that I've taken from Alton Towers throughout this season. So the park was very busy yesterday, I ended up doing 16 rides with 2 rides on the Smiler, 1 ride on Spin Jam, 1 ride on Funkin Flight and 12 rides on Curse Alton Manor. Fair to say I do like that ride. Looking at the queues uh, now as of recording the next day, the queues are a lot quieter, uh, with Smiler being 75 minutes, uh, Subterra 40 minutes, Rita 25, Oblivion 15, Galactica 70, Rickerman 40, 13, 40. So it's a lot quieter than yesterday, yet if you look at that uh, screenshot I put on earlier in the video, it's a lot quieter, which surprised me really for saying that yesterday was Friday and today's been a weekend so it's fair to say that uh, school trips are now uh, well underway yeah, going to the park however overall I really enjoyed my day yesterday it was great seeing updates on Nemesis uh, as well seeing the uh, what looked like foundation work I believe they were pouring as well uh, also uh, seeing uh, Trista Trunt uh, I can't say that word. Tristatron test yesterday. Uh, the ride has now reopened according to the app. So that's great to see that they have now got that ride back up and running. But if you enjoyed this video then please do like and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok for more theme pop related content. And I'll see you again soon.